Jeff, Zach, thanks for joining me. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. Hey. Thanks for having me. Good to have you guys. Uh, talking a little bit about Cushman and Wakefield's uh, forecasting they're doing in commercial real estate. Uh, they're noting, uh, first off, um, some stuff everybody's aware of. Uh, real estate, a little tougher with the higher interest rate picture. Uh, in inflation, which we're seeing in insurance costs, uh, labor costs, materials costs, definitely having an impact for operators. Uh, also, their um, outlook mentioned some of the challenges in office, uh, as well as some of the bright spots uh, that uh, the, a lot of the top tier office is doing pretty well. Um, a lot of the problems are concentrated in the bottom 10% of office assets. Uh, I don't know if it so much mentions it, but something we've been talked about is how some of that's really specific to certain downtown markets. And then how retail is remaining robust. Uh, we're seeing uh, a move towards a real good diverse mix in terms of retail. And we've uh, talked about it ourselves, uh, some of the move to more localized suburban strip malls and whatnot. Uh, some of your thoughts on their commentary or, or just uh, what we're seeing um, outlook for commercial real estate at this point in the year? Um, I guess I'll jump in and go first. I uh, haven't seen you in a, in a little bit, Steve, so I'm, I'm glad to be back. But um the bottom tier is like being last picked in dodgeball. It, uh, you know, people like to avoid it, and there's a lot of reasons for that. Um, talking about real estate, not dodgeball, but uh, <laughs> the buildings usually are older. They're not maintained very well. Um, you're going to have, I hate to say, it, but lower class tenancy. People that are really only concerned about dollars and landlords are going to put in all sorts of tenants in there and just to keep it full. And it's not going to be a, a great situation for anyone that's actually working there for the building themselves. So you'll see all of those buildings have the flight to quality. Um, people still need office. You know, retail is being robust right now. Same thing is going to happen with office, but retail had to shed a lot of dead weight. And I think that's what you're seeing here with office with these uh, buildings that weren't maintained. Any brilliant insights for us, Jeff, on a re, uh, retail office or, or if you want to throw it in there, um, industrial or, or any other categories um, at this point in the year, multifamily? Uh, no, I mean, look, I, I think, you know, Zach kind of hit the high point on on office. You know, multifamily is still a, you know, a, a really good viable asset. Uh, we've, you know, we've looked at some some industrial deals. Um, you know, I, I you know, for me, I would say personally on the side of industrial, you know, looking at some of them, but I'm, I'm, you know, pun not necessarily intended, but being pretty selective on them primarily just because you're seeing some some increases in vacancy in some of these spots. And, you know, it's kind of a changing, evolving market. So you got to be uh, pretty careful. You can't just, you know, flee to that, you know, to that asset class and just expect it's going to do, you know, it's going to do what it's going to do without having any, any sort of, uh, you know, speed hitting any sort of speed bumps. Yeah, I agree. And uh, certainly industrial, one of the things we've seen is it, it's done well, but it's reflected in the pricing and can be hard to find a deal. And I would yep. say the upside of when you get kind of volatility in a class, and, and we're certainly seeing that with office, we've seen that with retail to a degree, uh, multifamily even to a degree. Some yep. are, locations are doing better. Some aren't doing some well. Some classes are doing better. Some That's a lot of times where you find your opportunity and your mispricing is when you have vol and you have different things within a space doing better yeah. or worse. So kind of in a perverse way, I mean, one of my takeaways here would be some of your best opportunity is going to be in the high vol spaces, the, the, the ones where there's good and bad happening. Yeah. Great. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate the insights. If you appreciate it, give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and visit our website, selectfincap.com, and register to take a look at exclusive real estate investment opportunities. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Thanks.